All right, YouTube. Uh, guess the first review got me kind of hyped up, then fuck it, I decided to do the second review. And the next clone that I'm gonna do, it's uh, one of my fucking, I call it cheap people fucking goodie. Like, I fucking bought this shit for $8, $7.99 at, at Ross. And uh, it's fucking great. <laughs> you might laugh at the game, but the name of it is called. See if you can see it. Caesar's Man Legendary Cologne Spray. Mm, the bottle is it's funny looking. Uh, real green juice. What's cool about this? You know, it's a great sprayer. And if you're old school, <laughs> you don't want to spray, you can just piss this shit and got a splash bottle. Right. So like I said, uh, I bought this at Ross and it's a fucking four ounce bottle, $7.99. Like I said, I just buy random shit sometimes. I was like, you know. The worst that can happen is all you see is a fucking on my car or my restroom, you know, it's a refreshener. So, before I get to these, uh, this right here is like the green version of Drakkar. And I'm talking about the real Drakkar, because I know, I'm going to tell you a story. So, like, Drakkar is one of my all-time favorites, the, re the vintage. Uh, my uncle used to own that, and I remember when I was like, probably like less than five years old, walking the restroom, you know, and sprayed the original Drakkar, and I, I fucking love that juice. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but that's some, that's some fucking strong shit right there. And you know, I don't even know. I don't even own the regular drug car because, you know, I mean, it kind of smells like it, but it's not the same. You know, it's not. It's not a fucking uh, like the '80s powerhouse. You know, and I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with all these fucking companies fucking changing the formula on their colognes and shit. Like, like fucking just keep it. You know, just like Fahrenheit. You know, even though I haven't smelled the vintage. I have heard so many fucking good things about the the first one and I don't know why they fucking change it I guess they think we're fucking pussies and we don't like <laughs> the strong shit but well let's start on this one I don't know when this shit was made but this shit right here smells straight like a fucking powerhouse like seriously like you know I sprayed fucking Perry Ellis earlier about what like fucking 30 minutes ago and like this shit is overpowering Perry Ellis and Perry Ellis is a fucking strong cologne so like three sprays four at the most if you're crazy and you'll be done <laughs> you'll be good uh like I said this is like a green version of your car of the 80s your car it's fucking great for eight dollars, can't fucking beat that. And I'm gonna read the fucking nose right now for y'all. So on the top nose, you got bergamot, verbena, and rosemary. On the middle nose, you got geranium and lavender. And on the base nose, you got amber, sandalwood, oak moss, and patchouli. Like I said, guys, I mean, if you run into this shit, I don't know how much it's online. It's, I think I did research it one time, and I think I saw it for 20 bucks. Even for 20 bucks, it's a fucking great deal. Uh, especially if you love your car. I love. I mean, like I said, I love the old school Drakkar. Drakkar. Uh, like I said, I didn't even know about this. I just fucking blind about it. You know, it's like fucking bottle looks old. Fucking tacky and you know I'm like shit. <laughs> the fuck you know like I was I was expecting like to be this fucking nasty ass clone and 
Like I said, this shit's so fucking good. It's like so green, you know. It smells just like Dracar, but like greener. I mean, I'm, I'm not really good at breaking fucking nose and all that. But like I said, if you love Dracar, the old school one, you're going to love this shit right here. And I mean, $7.99, if you found their Ross, don't fucking pass it up. I mean, this shit is it's fucking good juice. And like I said, uh, on this shit, I, I do like three sprays only. I do one on my chest and two on my neck. And I have gotten 20 and plus hours on this, like next fucking day. And I always, I usually always get compliments on this because for some reason, you know, like the older ladies, they brings back memories, you know. Some of them, they, they're like, oh, you're wearing the Jokar, oh, you know, you know about the good old school fragrances and stuff. Because I mean, like I just said earlier, unless you fucking got a professional nose shit to people is gonna smell or remind them of other shit even if it's not a fucking same cologne and for some reason to people this smells just like your car well to me like i can tell it's a little different like i said but same fucking projection and longevity like this right here if you if you if you like 80s fucking colognes like those tower houses like fucking uh job uh let me remember uh Dracar, like uh what else from the 80s uh fucking uh asaro all those fucking colognes from the 80s you know you like strong shit like masculine like this shit makes me when i wear this shit i feel like a like a fucking man you know like like I got fucking big balls. That's what I feel like. <laughs> but yeah, if you catch this, if you see it on Ross, I recommend it, guys. I'm out. Take care.